Hi, it's Ian from Dancing Girl Coffee here. So just for a little bit of a change, we thought we'd make a, an espresso martini, but use some of the, um, the tools that you might only have at home to brew coffee. So I'm gonna make a really strong cup of uh, V60 drip brew coffee into this glass so you can see how much, how much coffee we're brewing. Then I'm gonna cover it and cool it, put it in the fridge, and then I'm gonna use that to make the espresso martini. Um, so for espresso martini, we're gonna use some vodka, we're gonna use some Kahula, and we're gonna use a shot of Cafe Patron as well. So to make a really strong uh, drip brew, I'm going to use my V60, so I'm just going to open up my paper there. I'm going to grab my V60 here, pop it above my cup, open the paper out, drop it in the top there, and I'm going to use two full scoops, only for one cup, so it's going to be a really strong, strong coffee this. It'll take a little while to brew through as well because of the amount of coffee that we're using. The idea we want a really strong flavour profile in our, our espresso martini. So as normal I've already boiled the kettle and um, so I'll allow it to cool for five minutes. So we just pour in and wet the coffee. Nice rolling action as normal. Okay, remember not to overfill this because we're only making one cup. Pop that from there. You can see it dripping through now. It's making a really, really strong cup of coffee. So we want that, that strong profile for when we make uh, make the espresso martini. So now we're completely brewing. So I'm just going to discard the the waste paper and waste coffee, waste filter paper and waste coffee. There we go. So we'll pop that on there. Uh, so now we'll cover that and put that in the fridge and just leave it to cool for half an hour. As soon as we put ice into the shaker, um, it's going to take any heat that's in there, that remains in the, in the coffee out of there. Okay, so um, we've already gone through brewing a really strong drip brew coffee using the V60. Um, again, we're calling it espresso martini, but it's not really espresso martini because we're not making it with espressos. So I'll grab my, my cooled um, uh, my cup of coffee that I've brewed through the drip brewer. So we've left it in the fridge brew. Uh, cooling a little while after it's been brewed so I'm just going to tip this into my shaker you see there with the ice any residual heat that's in there will be taken out of it okay so leave that onto one side there and I'm going to truck my spirits in there as well so we're going to start with um, just 25 ml of Cafe Patron we're going to have to make sure that we uh, that we sweeten this as well because it's not a strong more watered down coffee than, a, than an intense espresso shot. So we've got 25 ml of Cafe Patron in there. Then we're going to have 50 ml of Kahlua. So get a really nice strong coffee taste. You have to shake vigorously for one minute once we've added all of this into the shaker. And then we're going to put in Two shots of vodka. It's going to be quite a strong, uh, strong drink. And then finally, we're going to put in two shots of. In this case, I'm going to use for a little more flavour some hazelnut syrup. So just using flavours that really complement the the coffee there. So hazelnuts, maybe a berry flavour. Vanilla always works well with a coffee and espresso martini. There we go, there's 50 ml of syrup into there. Put the top back on there. And then I'll probably edit out the full amount of uh, shaking that we do with the cocktail shaker, but we clasp that on, hold tight, and then shake vigorously for one minute. So we can see there, because we've really agitated the, the drink in the shaker, we've put a lot of air into it. The shaker already has a strainer built into the top of it, so we're going to hold the base of the drink there. And then I'm going to pour, so we run down the side of my martini glass. See if we've made enough for two, enough to share. So we see we're still getting a really nice creamy top to the drink. Even though we haven't made it with espresso, we've made it with drip brew at home there. So maybe I might get a glass and a half out of this. So that's worth considering if you're making this at home. 
and making it for two of you to share. Again with pour three, so all right, separated a little there. So we're not quite poured an equal amount. So if I have to share this with my girlfriend, I think I have to have the short one. There we go. But you hopefully can see that on the camera that it will create a really nice creamy top to that espresso martini. Enjoy.